So just a brief introduction to the matrix capabilities of this calculator, which are really quite good. So if I want to enter in a matrix, uh, say for example I want to enter in this uh, 3 by one matrix. There's three rows, one column. So I would do 3, enter 1, and I open up the matrix menu. And I say I want to create a new matrix, and it uses my y and x values in my stack to do that. So I hit new, and I get a new 3 by one matrix. Now say I want to, right now this matrix is only in the stack. So before, before I do anything else, um, let's store that as I could do matrix A there. Let's do M A T one. Let's call that matrix two. So I have stored that as matrix two. Yep. So now, as I go and edit that matrix, so right now it has created a, well, I, I can delete that and then recall it, and I've still got it stored in matrix two. Okay, so I've got the matrix stored. I can now edit it. It's all zeros right now. So I'm going to enter in this matrix here. So I'm going to enter in one. And I could go down, or if I press the right arrow right now, it's in wrap around mode. So it would go right and wrap around to the next element. So it's row two, column one. So enter in two, and enter in three for that guy. And I can go back and I can wrap around. Now say I get here and I want to add more elements. What I can do is go down to the next menu and instead of wrap mode, here's delete row, here's insert a row, I can choose grow. So now when I move on in the matrix, it should go to four. And my matrix has now become a four by one matrix. Five, uh, four, whatever. So let me exit out of that. I now have a six by one matrix. And if I recall my named matrix, mat two, I only have a three by one matrix because I didn't actually save my new matrix as I was causing it to grow. But anyways, a three by one is what I want. Um, let's put in this three by three matrix here. So three, enter three, go to my matrix, new, instead of that, yeah, do new, store, and I'm going to call this one matrix two. So alpha mode, M, A, T, two. Okay, and now edit it. So I'm going to enter in zero, one, two, wrap around in the next row, five, three, one, and negative one, five, and negative three. Notice it always defaults to wrap around mode instead of grow mode. All right, so now I have my two matrices. Let me recall matrix Did I store that? I thought I stored that as matrix one.
Uh, I overwrote Matrix 2. Well, this gives me an opportunity to show the redimensioning. So I've got a 3x3 three three matrix. Um, I want a 3x1 matrix. And we'll dimension matrix 2. So that takes the dimensions, or it should have, takes the uh, the dimensions that I had in the stack and edited matrix 2. So now I go to edit that and I enter in 1 and 2 and 3. Okay, so now Matrix 2 is a 3x1. Matrix 1 is a 3x3. Three three. If I go to the matrix mode, I can edit what I've got there, or I can edit my named matrix. So edit matrix 1, 0, 1, 2, 5, 3, 1, negative 1, 5, negative 3. Edit my other name matrix, matrix 2, and I've got 1, 2, and 3 in there. All right. So now that I've got those two matrices in there, let's see. Let's recall matrix 1, and recall matrix 2, and I can multiply those together. And that gives me a new 3 by 1 matrix, which again is only stored in the stack. And I can view that by going to uh, the matrix menu and then edit. So my resultant min, uh, matrix, if I multiply these, is 8, 14, and 0. Now I can also say I recall my 3x3 three three matrix. I can take the inverse of that. Not working. And now if I edit it, it shows me the inverse go through all the elements and take the inverse again I'll just recall matrix 1 here and take the determinant of that matrix which is 70 I can transpose the matrix again edit I can see that my 0 is still there. My 5 has flipped up that diagonal uh, line. Got negative 1 in that position. 1 has moved down over here. My 3, uh, 5. So that took the, the transpose. So, sim q is the simultaneous equation. So you enter that, you say how many unknowns, and you solve for that. I did a different video on it. Um, you can take the dot product of vectors, cross product, and the unit vector. So let's recall matrix 2 and say I want the unit vector of that. So it, it took the unit vector. Now I look at it, and it's divided. Let me change the mode here. So it's divided each of those elements to create its unit vector. Um, so let's say I have, I'm going to make a copy of that vector and then multiply by negative 5 and then take the, if you see I've got these two right here, I'll take the cross product of them. It gives me a 1 by 3 matrix, which now if I edit, I can see what my values are after doing the cross product of those two. Um, let me call Oops. I just leave that let me call that too. Okay. So now I've got two uh, three by one matrices again, or vectors. Go here, and I can take the 
dot product between those two. Dim, you can redimension a vector. So, say for example, I, um, let's say I want a two by two. Let me, let me recall first. So I've got this, this matrix, let's view it. So we've got zero, one, two, etc. So I've got this matrix, this three by three, and I want to redimension it to a two by two matrix. So I'm going to enter in two, two, go down to the next part of my menu, and do dimension. And then ask me which matrix I would like to redimension. And I say matrix one. And now if I go and edit matrix one, I should have zero, one, and at this point it wraps around, so it goes five, uh, whoops. Uh, two. Okay, so it did that one, that one, and then it took this one and put it down in the two second row first column. And then five goes into that position, and now it should wrap around back to the beginning. So I got the first four elements here, and the last four elements, or last uh, five elements, were dropped. Now I can also redimension the other way. So three, three, redimension matrix one, and now it should be back to a three by three matrix. If I go through, I've got zero, one, two, five. So we're back to there, but now all the rest should be zeros because I didn't have any information to put in those. So that's redimensioning a uh, matrix. I would recommend naming and storing your matrices because if you don't, you will most likely use them. You can also access whatever matrices you have stored by going to the catalog and then looking at the matrix menu. And this shows me all the matrices that I have stored uh, in the calculator currently. To make a complex matrix, so right now, let me recall mat one. So right now that is that's a complex matrix. I can, let's see, make a copy of that. And maybe I will multiply. Okay, so anyway, three by three matrix, I can change that into one complex matrix. I need a real part and an imaginary part. So there's my real part, there's my imaginary part. And now I have a three by three complex matrix. If I go and edit that, now I have zero at angle zero. That's because my mode is in polar right now. So zero, angle zero, and I can enter in my complex numbers just like I would enter in any complex number. And to make it back into a real matrix, just hit complex again, and it breaks it out into two different parts. So you could do one matrix with your real parts, one matrix with your imaginary parts, and then combine them. Um, or just create a, a single matrix and um, make a copy, combine it to get your complex matrix.